Hello guys, I'm Rabbitfex and I'm bringing you the first ever theory video on my channel. I promised this to, well I said about doing this in a group on Facebook. As some of my friends know, I am a Steven Universe fan. That is, there's nothing to say about that, I just am, I really like the show. And I'm, I'm in this group and I thought about doing a theory video. But it's not just going to be on Steven Universe, it's going to be on a lot of things, so it'll cover games, movies, stuff like that, but I'll do it every once in a while because, yeah, it, it's something that I won't completely take over my channel because it's still going to be based around gaming. But, for the first time, I'm doing it. So, I'm going to go around a couple of theories and then I'm going to say my own because a couple of them I've heard on the internet and, it's, and they seem pretty awesome. First one is to do with Rose Quartz and how she killed the diamond. So if we see a picture of pink diamond you see her all elegant but with one planet. If you notice with all the other diamonds they've got other circles in their picture and apparently that, that's representing the planets they controlled. The pink diamond only had the earth. Now what I feel like pink diamond kind of saw the same as what Rose Quartz did but in a way that we can say that she saw what the planet was like and the life on it but we've also got to think now this is going back to what Rose Quartz is so she's a Quartz but she's a lot more powerful as what we've understand she's elegant and the powers that she has is unbelievable because she's only a foot soldier but yet she's got healing tears uh, shield, well her shield is her summon weapon, she had to get a sword made for her. She can like change the molecule, um, yeah, molecules of the air, yeah. So she can either descend really fast or very slowly. So I've got a feeling she was made as a bodyguard to Pink Diamond. Like, I'm not going to say that she, Pink Diamond didn't have a pearl because she probably did. But I, I also want to get into the Pink Diamond pearl. So, what I feel like with the reading the mind thing, that's, that's really weird too. But so I feel like Pink Diamond was doing her thing. She she had to do this for home world to colonize it for more for them to survive so it's more a survival instinct thing but Rose thought no we cannot destroy the civilization of humans and animals it's wonderful so she destroyed her she shattered her gem so that's probably how like, the whole war started um, getting back to Pink Diamond's pearl I think it's lying uh, that that's just my opinion, but I do think it's lying. It it's got to be lying. If not, I don't know what the fuck lying is. Sorry about swearing. If anyone young under here, I'm sorry. Do not repeat these words. Okay, don't want anyone swearing. If I swear, no. so that's what I think. Number one for bismuth. Now this theory has gone around before, knowing that bismuth. Is a man-made metal. Yeah. You know, okay. Yeah. She's a metal, not a gem, but it's cool. Uh, and as you saw in the episode where Stephen lets Bismuth out, she was all nice and stuff, but she kind of had a spike to her personality. And then she kind of went insane at Stephen because she thought she was Rose, but Stephen's not. And um, so throughout that, because um, what a radioactive metal. I feel like that's changed her personality, so I feel like the show's really gone off the kind of elegance of a gem or metal. So it's like, oh, well, so it's, it seems like the man made metal is like her personality. She was, she's strong, powerful, but yet crazy, you know? Um, okay, so that's three theories already. Hell yeah. Um, just to put it out the rest, I don't think Jasper's a fusion. A lot of people have said, and what I've understood, that non-fusion characters have less detailed eyes, but yet Garnet and Jasper does. But Jasper's not a fusion. As you saw, she only desperately tried fusion with a corruptive gem to fight Smoky Quartz. 
So I, I, I just wanted to put that to rest in my own opinion. If you want to disagree, put it down in the comments below. Uh, last one. This, this is my own and this is what I think. It's kind of gone around the same because I saw a picture of um, Avenge Time. That's ending soon. Like, wow. But, um, yeah, so it was basically Finn in a coma. And the world he was dreaming of was him asleep. I think this is the same with Steven. Like, with, with everything going on, I, I feel like it. Um, I would say that what what happened is, like, Steven's never really met his mum. So I think Steven's gone into a coma because his mum died at his birth. Garnet, Pearl and Amethyst are sisters. And then, um, in, in his dreams, well, let's just say before he got into the coma, he made friends with um, Lapis and Paradox. Which are which were probably to others and a bully, Jasper. And I feel like his normal life has intertwined with his dreams, giving us this power, giving him meaning. And I feel like it's all mentally in his head while he's in this in this coma. Because we can see that you know the older sisters are looking after him and stuff like Garnet, Pearl, and Amethyst are doing. He still sees his dad, so maybe his dad couldn't handle him. So he moved out with Garnet, Pearl and Amethyst and he slipped into a coma through an accident and then everything's just kind of gone round. So that's just my theory but let me let me know what you think down below, let me, well let me know what you want me to do on a theory and I'll go research it, I'll go look into it, like I want to do the Bioshock series, like, I really want to do that one. But this is my first time doing this, so it's so weird. Sorry if it comes off a bit if I'm nervous and stuff, because I don't want to sound like an idiot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button with your toes, because it would mean a lot to me. Um, tell me if I'm, if I'm doing anything wrong with this video, so I'll know, and I can improve that. So, thanks guys for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.